Então malta, sejam bem-vindos a mais um vídeo no canal do André Garage. Hoje nós estamos aqui no ringue e está uma pessoa a olhar para mim à minha frente, muito confusa porque eu estou a falar em português e ele provavelmente não está a apanhar nada do que eu estou a dizer. But Dale, basically, what I'm saying is that I'm speaking in Portuguese and you're looking at me like I have no idea what this guy is saying about my shop, but I hope it's okay. So, I'm here, no, I'm, I'm not supposed to speak in English, I'm, I'm, I have a Portuguese channel, sorry guys. Estamos aqui no Rent for Ring. E eu ontem vim aqui alugar os Suzuki Swift Sports e os BMW 125i Stage 3. Fui lá para fora por umas voltas. Estou extremamente confuso porque agora estou a pensar em inglês e a falar em português. Mas fui lá fora dar umas voltas. Achei que fui bastante bom. Depois fui dar umas voltas com quem estava mais habituado ao ringue. E achei que se calhar precisava de um bocado de prática. E então ao chegar aqui, pedi ao Dell para me ajudar a dar-me umas dicas no ringue. Ele pensou assim, uh, vamos lá ver aqui um morgão de um youtuber e vamos levá-lo lá fora a dar umas voltas. Neste momento eu vou agora sair para ir com o Dale para a pista. Nós vamos num Suzuki Swift Sport, 190 cavalos, 300 Nm de binário, LSD, pá, menos de 1000 kg de carro. Eu vou-vos dizer uma coisa, quando vem ao ring, eu sei que vocês veem nas, veem nas rentals M3 e M4 e Porsches e tudo, primeira vez no ring carro mais fraco, estes carros não estão normais, eles têm pastilhas alteradas para agir, têm o carro todo speed, têm roll cage, têm recar pole position, os carros estão todos alterados, vocês vão se divertir como nunca com 190 cavalos, depois podem passar para carros de 200 cavalos e depois acharem que são mesmo grandes heróis, há aí um GT3 RS, há Alpines e tudo. Mas basicamente se vocês virem um quadro ali atrás, há 125 is com várias alterações, há Swifts, a GT3 RS, ao Alpine, pá, atenção, o ringue não é brincadeira, ontem eu saí no 125 e 63, bastante alterado o carro, uma travagem poderosíssima, o gajo que pega nele a seguir a mim, dá a loca para os travões no salto, curva a seguir e o tube corner capota, parte-se todo, para vocês terem uma percepção, as coisas aqui têm seguro, mas as franquias são altas, não é, senão eles perdem o dinheiro como se não houvesse amanhã, bater no 63 significou ao rapaz 12 mil euros, bateu no topo da franquia porque o carro está destruído, portanto se não houvesse seguro era pagar o carro todo, como é que eu estou de bola clara? A seguir aos 12 mil euros foi 8 mil euros porque ele precisou de ir ao hospital, se sentiu mal e o hospital é 100 km daqui, como ele tinha capotado e tinha que ir para o hospital com urgência gastou 8 mil euros para vir um helicóptero buscá-lo, rebentou com os rails que nós já sabemos todos que isso é caro, caro, não, os valores foi o que eu ouvi aqui, não sei se estão certos, mas acho que estão, não desconfiem, sai muita caro bota no ringue, portanto muita consciência, o Swift Sport roda muito rápido, só para vocês terem uma percepção, se continuarem a achar que Oh meu Deus, o Swift Sport é um Swift, é um Suzuki, é um 125i. Ontem nós estávamos 125i, tivemos a passar Lexus RCF, tivemos a passar E36 alterados, tivemos a passar BMWs, porque é preciso estar habituado ao ringue e isto requer um bocado de esforço. Portanto, eu estou aqui com o Dale, a partir de agora o canal vai ficar um bocado bilingue, ou seja, ele só fala inglês, se calhar fala alemão, mas essa parte não ia perceber como é óbvio, ele vai falar em inglês comigo, eu vou falar em inglês com ele, basicamente o vídeo passa de eu espero que vocês a, 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 entendam para I hope you guys understand e vão ter que fixar aí um bocadinho, pá, perceber o inglês português eu também vou sempre traduzindo o que eu digo para ele e traduzo o que ele diz para eles, mas eu vou estar no ringue, eu vou estar a chegar aqui, nós temos aqui nos exportadores do Red for Ring, capacetes e tudo para vocês levarem, o dele como vai dar formação, que é um serviço que ele também entrega ao pai, eu acho que é que eu fui arrogante e foi tipo, não, não preciso que ninguém me ensine, depois de dar umas voltas, quis que ele me viesse ensinar. Mas basicamente eu vou levar uns capacetes da Bell, tem intercomunicadores para ele me ouvir, porque ele disse que não gosta de gritar no carro. Uh, espero que grite um bocadinho, porque não há microfone, portanto a GoPro, por acaso havia, mas ele não trouxe. <risos> portanto a GoPro vai ter que captar o áudio, daqui vamos vos mostrar o carro e a seguir sair para a pista. Bora! Malta, já estou aqui de capacete intercomunicadores, estamos ao lado de um Swift Sport, e agora esta pessoa aqui ao meu lado é o Dale, o Dale é youtuber, piloto, antigo condutor de ring táxi, está aqui há muitos anos, portanto eu vou deixá-lo falar e brevemente vou interrompendo sempre, só para ele me dar a oportunidade de traduzir, não vá ter algum subscritor que não fale inglês. So Dale, now you're allowed to introduce yourself, just give me a couple stops between the more important sentences so I can translate to everybody. No worries. So, yeah. I've been here at the Nürburgring for 20 years. We've been running Rent for Ring now for nearly 12 years. And we have 30 cars and we make the specifications ourselves. They're all fully modified ring tools. Isto acho que foi demasiado fácil de inglês, mas são os, os ring tools são basicamente os carros todos preparados aqui para andar no ring. É o Dave uh, na sua própria oficina que trata de fazer setups, balanceamento, comprar as peças, configurar e ele próprio You you develop all the all the setup yeah. by yourself. You go out on the track, exactly. Try, try the parts. And so the Olin's kit that's on this car is developed by us. 
with Olin's and now Olin's sell that kit but it's, it's us that made the kit. Pronto, o, it's with the Rodent Tracks suspension. Yes. Portanto, Olin's Rodent Tracks, vocês comprarem isso pelo Swift, foi desenvolvido pelo Dale com a ajuda do Dale, o setup está todo montado. Portanto, for, for you guys that understand English, I strongly suggest you to subscribe to BTG Dale in case you don't. I probably believe that you are already because a lot of friends and subscribers sent me his channel when they saw that I came to the ring. We'll be heading out on track. Oh. Vamos sair para a pista, ter um pouco de formação e a seguir Lume e sentir qual foi o improvement face ao, ao dia de ontem. We have British humor, so we're completely fine. <laughs> Never saw someone smiling that much after they told me they rolled they rolled over my two week car. <laughs> It's okay. My two weeks old car. <laughs> They're born to die. It's okay. <laughs> right, good. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Já estou aqui no Swift com o Dale, agora, a, a partir de agora vocês vão ter que me ouvir a falar com ele em inglês, não é? Portanto, um, eu vou estar na pista. Is this your GD3? Ah, uh, yes, it might well be. Oh, that, that's. This is great because this is my favorite car and I love to see them. We can go out and then Pascal will bring it in. It's just been at Manti Racing, having some work done, and uh, yeah. Hopefully it's ready to drive this afternoon because I have a couple of customers for it. You have, yeah, that's what I was going to ask you about. You have, um, you go out on the car as well. Yeah. But you don't do taxi service with it. No, no. I've been a taxi driver for, for well over 10 years here, but okay. unfortunately this year um, we didn't bid on the license because okay. unfortunately with COVID we couldn't see if there was a business model and it's a lot of money to spend. Yes. To Typically have the just the license is going to cost you around 50 grand. Okay. So you need to be sure that the money will be coming back. Yeah. Otherwise it would be a terrible investment. <laughs> exactly. Having a GT3 out on track and not even making money on it. <laughs> that really doesn't sound like a good business model. Uh, no, no. And you're up against, uh, you know, you've got other companies as well doing taxis and, you know, the, there's a bit of a price war. So it's very easy to lose a lot of money doing a Nürburgring taxi. It's okay. There will be other times. So, did you drive the Swift Turbo yesterday? No, I only drove oh, the, the I BMW. Only drove the, BM, the BMWs because I wanted to go out on the Swift, but there yeah. was no Swift on on the car park with us. Yeah. And after that, I went on the Stage 2 125i. Yeah. And uh, we and I my videographer took. I said it's it's your first time on a track. You should take the Swift. I'm not sure if anyone will be yeah. giving up the Swift back to us because everyone was taking it on laps. <laughs> uh, be, uh, well, it's a smoother car for wet track, like the yeah, conditions yeah. it was yesterday, than the 125i. Yeah, so definitely. I, so I told him you should take the Swift, and he came out of track, and I was like, now it's my time to to drive the Swift because yeah. I, I like smaller cars, I like funny cars, I like to heel and toe. Yep. And um, the, the 125i is as a Z, uh, ZF. I wanted to take the Swift out and as I'm I'm, I'm getting on the on the driver's seat, Fabio comes to me and says, uh, we need to give uh, give the Swift back. And I was like, oh fuck, I wanted to go <laughs> on, a, on a ride with it. No worries. So the car is really fun to drive. It's very sharp on the controls. So the brake pedal is very responsive. The steering is very quick um, so the first half of the lap you're just going to be getting used to the car and also I'll be giving you my instructions okay so keep going otherwise these guys will get upset yes yeah. I noticed that yesterday they were always arguing with yeah. someone at the car park yeah they have a very short fuse so to explain to you how I am as a driver I'm not serving at all okay I can recognize when I'm doing something wrong good so if you're If you're thinking I'm doing something stupid, <laughs> just say it. No worries. And oh, can you help me, please? Thanks. And I've never been at the ring. I have. This will be the third lap. No worries. I've so I've driven on the sim. But oh shit! This is not supposed to happen. This is quite dangerous. Pass it to me. Maybe try and shake it a little bit just to make sure it won't happen again. Yeah, it's. Uh, it turned purple. It turned purple, man. Okay. <laughs> So you can see the track is actually a little bit damp in the shadows. Yes. Still. So the, the racing line will dry up quickly, but whenever we're offline, we'll be on the damp part. Okay, okay. I saw your videos. Uh, using the indicators is quite important. It is, yeah, absolutely. 
So I'll just all these fast cars. Yeah, these guys are all on lap two or lap three. They've got hot tires. Yes. They've already seen the conditions. We're on our first lap. We're yes. having a look. We're warming up the car. I'll give space to this mini and now. Yeah, let's get on the line now. Okay. So blue and white arrow to turn in just before blue and white to turn in. Go close to the guardrail, then let the car all the way out. Using all, then, the, using all of the track, okay? Using all of the track, exactly. And then we're looking to be at the top right hand side at the top of the hill, just yes. before the top we break, and at the end of the wall, where the orange lights are, that's okay. our turning in point. Apex, then let the car run out to the outside of the line. So we're going to stay on the right now, and you stay on the right until you see the two kilometer sign on the left hand side. So you're looking ahead to the two kilometer sign. Okay, let the car go left. There's quite a, a lot of reference yeah. to put here. Yeah. Now you can see the racing line drying up and already. Then you see the line here. Yes. Good. Now we stay on the left side until you feel the bump. When you feel this big bump, it's coming down. Which is here. Okay. Let the car go to the right. Break and the straight line. Indicator to the right. Yeah. Traffic. All Always this, with the traffic, man. All these shimmers in 92 are quite fast. Yeah, yeah. We've got an M2 competition yeah. behind us and as well. So late apex left, then late apex right. The late apex sets you up nice for this left hander. There we go. Let the car run out. And then we go full right to full left. Maybe we can overtake them all day, I don't know, it's only a 
going full throttle because no, I think there's no need for it on the first lap. No need for it on the first lap. And also, we're just having a look at the surface as well. We don't know if it's wet or dry in October at the Nürburgring. It could be very, very hard to predict the way that looks. Yes, it no, no, I can see again. It's okay, just use the force. <laughs> This one has no laps, okay. so I need to use this one. Keep on moving so the marshals don't get upset. And I'll 
all red shit. Yay, like a boss. Yes. I've been here all my life. <laughs> I'm just renting because I like to help people out. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> your, your donations to the tourism industry have been greatly recognized and we present you with this trophy for the people. Thank you. <laughs> I tell you, man, running a rental company through COVID, that's some bad soup. Nobody wants to drink that soup. Okay, so, a little break just before pulling white, and then you go close to the guardrail, yes. and then let the car run out, and hit the gas. Okay, we're gonna just use that here, go all the way up the ramps, and then break it just on the top, break it, head to the wall to turn in. Mm, start to get the oil moving around in the hole in now, that's nice. <laughs> Lots of fourth gear. Looking, I'm stay on the right. Looking for the two kilometer sign, you can find exactly the two kilometers and then the brake, control the speed, then go back on the gas through the apex, then the LSD through that curve. Yes, it is working. It works. So stay on the right, left, after the bump, on the right. Brake in a straight line. First apex, forward. you can do four, you can do five through this, and then the brake again. Oh, okay. You saw us, you saw first. When you go very fast, you start to hit the ramp between thirds and the other section. So. Turn. So it's a late turn again, yes, so late apex, all yeah, about the exit. Apex. Yes. 
in like a lamb. Another one. This is a fast one as well. He's got the 328 motor in this. So braking down to third gear, hit the first apex dead early and let the car use the, use the width of the track. Use the track. That's good. Coming back to the left hand side, end of the left curve for turning in, right spot, turn in, hit the gas at the apex, fire it on the left hand side, chase this Cupra. He has more power than us right now. Yeah, of course. Everybody has more power than us. That's fine. <laughs> okay, so good Here's speed, here. little brake, back on the gas. On the left hand side, we're going to be braking. Yeah, it's just the Yoko sign down to third, late turn in, remember? End of the curve for okay, the turn in. I saw it. Yep, we saw it, it was over there. The white, <laughs> the white dog. Yes, yes. I, I also crash a lot on this corner. Yeah, yeah, everybody does. Some of my friends, we used to have PlayStation nights and they were always crashing in the same places. And whenever they would come to visit me, I'd be like, don't you crash here, please. Okay, so we're going to stay on the gas when it comes to the right hand side, this is a miss, hit, miss. And the next one, we're going to turn in early, hit the apex, but then let the car go all the way to the right on the exit, because this is bump. You feel like yeah, bump. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of cars going fast. Yeah, it's fast. Come to the right. Indicator. Again, yeah, this is an easy section, so let's just come off the gas here. This is a boring section anyway. And then we can be back on the gas through the next corners, I think. We've got one more M2 to come through. The CS. Yeah, the yeah, there we go. Right, back on the gas. Hit the apex, let the car run out. On to the right-hand side. There was a rumble strip there if you need it. And then you can be to the left-hand side. And there's the rumble strip. There's a rumble strip up here. You're a good learner, Andre. Yeah. You're remembering, that's good. Apex just at here, and then let the car out. We're going to come to the middle of the track, and then we brake to the left. Okay. So braking down to the, the end of the curve. Yes, to the end of the curve, end of the curve for the turn in. Apex straight away, and then you can add the gas a bit early and let the car come out on the diff. Let it go to the full left on the exit. Good. Use the full power. Now we're going to brake a little bit down to third. Brake it down to third. All four wheels on the concrete. Good. It sounded like I crashed at something. But... It's fine. It's just the exhaust hitting the rear axle okay. sometimes. It's fine. It just means you're going fast. That's fine. That's fine. Good. Okay, fourth gear through the next left as well. We're turning in at the little white spot. There's so. an M2 coming. No problem. No problem, yeah. No problem. Now, get out of now we'll come to the right. Yep. That's Marcel. This one was at your shop. Yeah, I drove it into work this morning. I swapped it for a VW. Uh, he needed a van yesterday. So uh, he drove our works van and I drove his M2 last night. That's great. Yeah, it was good, good suit. <laughs> I published on my Instagram. This is the only way you're allowed to have an M2 competition. So through the right hander, it's dead easy. Then you're going to control the speed a little bit for the left hander. And then remember, as soon as you see that right curve, you can go over it. There she is. Boom. <laughs> Good photo. Okay, braking a little bit, then turn in. Apex just before the top of the hill. Nice, good line. Braking to the right, you can just miss the first apex. Right, exactly. And look for the rumble strip on the second apex. You can just kiss it with the left tires. Nice, nice. Sets you up for this like this uh, right hand here, see? Come to the right, we've got a GT3 RS. No, don't do that, you dickhead. To him. Literally did not even give us time to move over, did he? Yeah, but I, he knows it's us. <laughs> We're looking for him because this is the GT3 RS of my friend. Oh, right, okay. But I, I'll well, keep this on the video, Mika. Don't <laughs> say you're an idiot. He's uh, overtaking on the wrong side. If I was in my day job and I still have my taxi and my radio, I would have uh, I would have made a phone call through. You're not allowed to overtake on the right hand side in tourist driving. Okay, end of the curvy turn in. Yeah, this is a smoky Peugeot, man. Left side, stay on the gas. No, there's a need to go. That's okay. We're in the middle of our overtake, you will have to wait. Stay a little bit to the right, and then he'll come past on this easy bit. Perfect. Whoa, that's a fast car, man. That's a fast car. Nice, using the dry line, good. So I look all the way to the end of this straight where I can see a very skinny dead tree. I'm going to be full left, and then turning in, good speed, nice. Then we're going to be braking down to third. Take the first apex straight away, let the car run out to the right. We're just using third gear, we're going to brake.
brake again, braking all four wheels into the bottom. So you want to turn in a bit later than that, and that way it won't do the whole stability it won't, control. It won't slide out of the yeah, exactly. Up to four. So this one you just lift a little bit, turn in early, hit the first apex, and then let the car just gently go to the left hand side. You come into the full left of the little the little toilet, okay. and then, then turn exactly. it in. Yeah. And then back on the gas and out. And it's another lap. Another lap done. Well done, mate. This goes, this goes quite, quite, quite fast, actually. It does. And the funny thing is, when, you, when you're with a coach, right, you tend, you tend to be driving a lot slower because I'm giving you a lot of information. But when you're on your own later, you'll remember, oh, the coach said, do this. The coach said, I want to yes, be there. Yes, exactly. Actually, so I was... For the price of a couple of laps of, of coaching, it actually stays with you all day. It stays with you all day. I, I was trying to... to listen all the information and uh, responding to you and at yeah. the same time I was all of the times thinking I need to translate this into Portuguese yeah so I'm like oh fuck I can't translate it to Portuguese right now <laughs> no worries so no worries. I just hope everyone that speaks English likes it and the ones who only speak Portuguese are happy because I'm on the ring with BTG there <laughs> cool well mate that was some good laps Thanks. that was some good laps man and I think you've, you, you're going to learn a lot, you know, every time you come to the Nürburgring now, you know what it feels like to get it right and what it feels like to get it wrong. So you'll be constantly pushing yourself to get this section right, you know, very smooth, touch the apex, use all the exit. And when you get that feeling, it's like a drug, you know, it's like, it's like some sort of terrible, terrible class A drug. Because when you get it all right and you do a good lap, mate, you're like, this is the shit. I'm gonna go do that again. <laughs> yes, actually, I'm I'm just dropping you off, and I'm buying two more laps. No worries, no worries. Will you be heading out on the GT3 RS today? Uh, yeah, I think I have a couple of customers this afternoon that want to drive it, so I'll be on the passenger seat in that thing. Um, yeah, I might rent my own car this afternoon. I might go out in the Alpine. I'd like to go for a couple of laps myself this afternoon. Yeah, the Alpine is quite cool as well. Yeah, it's a cool little car, man. I've never driven one, but I, ju I just Have read... you not? No, but I just read about everyone. I can rent it if, if there's any space yeah, available. Yeah. yeah, it's available this afternoon. It's uh, it's literally double the price of the Swift. Okay, that's not bad, actually. 129 euros per lap. I mean, it is on Olin's TTX suspension, so it's like GT4 level factory we'll be suspension. heading back to yeah. that. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's on Olin suspension, it has big wheels, it has Cup 2 tyres, it has all the right pieces. Yeah, it's a really, you guys were so lucky with this weather. It's very unusual to have such good weather on such a big opening time at the Nürburgring. Three full days, no snow, no ice, perfect. And do, uh, the, the track is a bit damp on the morning, yeah. but in the afternoon it's, perfect. It's, it's, it's quite good actually. Yeah. Now, I don't like SUVs, but I have to say that is a rare car. It's uh, an Alpina XD3 by Turbo. I also don't like them, and I think there's a, there's a, that's a good thing that they're rare, so we don't see them <laughs> quite often. <laughs> MX-5 is a great car. Yes, yeah. Oh man, you should have seen my MX-5. I had, uh, I had, at the time, the fastest MX-5 at the Nürburgring. That's quite a nice title to my Yeah, time. it was, uh, I made it with, from, um, so I bought the car on the Japanese auctions. I shipped it to England and it was totally standard. And I used the car to do my first track days with a rear wheel drive car. And I was like, oh, I love this car, but I want it to be faster. And piece by piece, I mega squirted it. I put on coilover suspension. I put in a roll cage. And this was like a big journey for me because it was the first car that I properly modified. And uh, eventually, by 2010, it was a, it was running a turbo. It was running 240 horsepower, six-speed gearbox, limited slip diff, uh, a little bit of aero front and back. Mm, yeah, it was fast. It was a sub-8 car back in 2010. Yeah, fully customized like MX-5. Mm. It, it, it's just a vibe, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> it's a ring. It's a ring vibe. Yeah, it is. It is. Uh, Costas has took his MX-5 today to European Time Attack. So he has a, um, a Jaguar Ford V6 engine in his, and a six-speed manual, limited slip diff. He has big aero, big we front We turn right? You, yeah, we can, we can go either. Yes. Oh, we, okay. we go to the next one. 
Right, so you're gonna keep the car, you're gonna go for some more laps? Yes, probably a couple more laps. No worries. Two or three. So you can just let me out on the top road here so you don't have to come into that car park. Okay. And you keep that helmet. I'll be uh, just picking up something from my backpack and yeah. call everyone. So I'll go in with you. Can I park it behind the Cougar? Just park it. Uh, yeah, I tell you what, come down into our car park because if we're, if we're abandoning the ship then we should park down there. Maybe I can park here. Oh yeah, here is good. Just drive straight on. A lot of noises. A lot of noises. The car is, is like really thin and the roll cage is pretty strong so sometimes the car moves around the roll cage. <laughs> Suzuki's 